Hey guys, so I have an updated video here I want to share with all of you on how you can transfer your pictures and videos or your photos and movies from your iPhone's camera roll to a Windows computer or laptop. What you're looking at right now is the iPhone 5S. And for this tutorial, I am using a Windows 10 Pro desktop computer. And if you guys have a different iDevice, maybe you have an iPad or a different type of iPhone, like the iPhone 6 and so on, whatever, this still should work for you. Now I did go around, let me go into the photos here. We're gonna take a look at the camera roll. You can see at the top there, I have four photos and four movies. I just took some short ones there. And what you wanna do first, guys, is connect your iDevice to your Windows computer or laptop. Over here on the left, you'll see it pop up. Let me minimize this. You'll see it pop up here, Jamie's iPhone. If I double click that, I can go right in here to internal storage into DCIM. And there are my four JPEGs and my four movie files. Now, if you guys have any issues getting your device to show up here under like under devices and drives, please check in the description below this link. I'm gonna put uh, you know additional videos in there showing you guys how to correct this issue and to get your iPhone to show up if you cannot. The biggest thing that I can recommend that you do is install iTunes because it has Apple mobile support, which allows it to work as a portable device like this. Let's go back in here because this allows it so you can go in and manually get these photos and stuff. So I have a pictures folder on the desktop, I'm gonna pull that up here. And all I'm gonna do is the ones that say JPEG here under type, and I don't know, maybe your guys' look like that or maybe it looks like that. Just go to view and just change the way, you know, you guys wanna view your photos there, okay? I like, I like it this way here because I can see the type. So what you wanna do is, what I'm gonna do is just simply make um, a copy right now. I'm gonna right, uh, right click there, and choose copy and go over here and choose paste and that just puts a copy of the pictures over in the pictures folder so let's say i want to go back in let's take a look at the iphone here real quick you can see at the top there's four photos i'm going to go ahead and de delete the ones i just copied over because that was just a copy okay so let's say i want to remove them off of the iphone entirely what you'd want to do is choose cut so highlight those same files again, right click, choose cut. Now, if you watch the iPhone at the same time I paste these full files over here in the pictures folder, you're gonna see the files disappear on the iPhone down there. And now we're left with just the four video files, see? So if you choose cut, that will delete them off of your iPhone. So over here, I have another folder called videos. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna go and highlight these uh, video files or MOV files, movie files. I'm going to choose to cut those out of there as well and come over here, right click and paste. Now watch the iPhone again, guys, before I do this, you're going to see all of them disappear. So that removes them and you can see it says right there, no photos or videos are, you know, on the iPhone. So they're gone. So if you want to delete them entirely from your iPhone, you choose cut. If you want to leave a copy on the iPhone, you choose copy. So there's all my stuff off of the iPhone over to my Windows computer. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And if there's any questions or comments, leave that stuff below and please check for additional links in the description. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a good one.